Good morning, everyone. We have a full house between, you know, online and in person, so that's nice. All right, so let's start with a comfy seat with your spine nice and long. Long, smooth, gentle breaths, taking a moment to check in with your body and with your mind. And then as you notice how you feel, thinking about how you want to feel when we're done with the practice today. You kind of know what's on your schedule for the day. And do you need a lot of energy? Do you want to move through the day in a relaxed way? Is some part of your body in pain and you want to let that go? And then when you have your intention, bringing your hands to your heart center, setting your intention, and then bowing the head to the heart, heart to the earth. And we'll start by just placing your hands on your legs or on the floor, wherever they come to, and starting to make some circles with your body. So since a number of you talked about the back and hips, I want you to notice how it feels as we roll. And then eventually you'll come to a pause and then go in the other direction. And you're looking for, you know, sensations, movement or lack of movement. All right. And we'll come to a place where we stop. And then this one, you may want to um, do it off of your mat because I want your leg to slide, right? So you're going to keep your left leg bent, you're going to take your right foot out at an angle and your, your knee is bent and you're going to just slide that heel in and out. And you're noticing, how does it glide, how does it feel? And then you're going to bring that same leg forward and I'm just switching directions so I can still be on the floor. So it's not in an angle anymore, you're going straight out, right, straight ahead. But I've turned, so turn your body around, Allison. Yeah, great. so you want your legs like coming straight out from you. I just pivoted so that I can slide on the floor. Right. And you're just noticing, no judgment. And again, you're gonna bend now the right leg and take your left leg out at an angle. How's it feeling today? How's it gliding? chuggy. And again, we're going to line our leg out straight from the body and slide again. And sometimes, you know, like we get a lot of information. Sometimes it's just starting to, you know, create some fluidity in our joints. Okay. So then we're going to come to a place where we stop here and find your tennis balls. And if you don't you have tennis balls? And if you don't have tennis balls at home, you're going to massage with your hands. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees and you're going to press those tennis balls into that spot just in front of your sit, sit bone. Now you're going to maybe straighten out your legs or you might keep them Bent. And what we're going to do is you're going to bring your pelvis front to back. So it's kind of like you're walking, but of course we're not going anywhere. And then some of you might like to take the knees side to side. And you're, you know, again, getting information. Now from here, we're gonna take those tennis balls and bring them to the outside. So your butt stays on the ground. You're gonna press into the side and then you're gonna bring your knees from side to side. So for some of us, we carry tension in here and it might feel a little bit tight, but of course it shouldn't bring tears to your eyes. <laughs> I say that loud. And my name's Jacqueline, for those of you who are new to me. All right, so, you, so you're getting information, right? How it's feeling. Now we're gonna take those tennis balls and you're gonna sit up, lean forward, and then press the tennis balls. So don't lift up your butt and sit on the balls, right? And just press the tennis balls there and lean your body back. 
And especially if your low back is tender, you just want to be aware, right? So your butt is totally on the floor, tennis balls are behind you, and then you're going to start to move your knees side to side. You know, and if, if your body calls you to move in a different way or to move the tennis balls a little bit, definitely listen to that. And I know we could stay here <laughs> all day, but we're not going to. All right, so now we're going to set the tennis balls to the side for a moment. And I want you to flex just one leg, and you're going to hold on to the knee and the ankle. And I know some of you could probably cradle your leg, but I want you to hold it away from you so that you get a little bit more movement. And you're noticing, again, how does it feel in that hip? And obviously, if there's any sharp pain, you stop. All right. Then we're going to take that leg down, second leg, same thing. Already, I can feel my temperature change. Like getting a little bit warmer. I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Okay. So now. You're going to keep your legs stretched out. We're going to flex those feet. You're going to bring your hands onto your thighs. Inhale is going to be up. Exhale, you're going to slide down. And you're just moving with your breath. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. How are those, the back of those legs feeling? How's the low back, the whole back? Now, one of these times, I want you to keep your head and your body in alignment and come forward. Right, so bring those shoulders in line with your body. So it's not rounded, right? Your shoulders are up there. And we're going to hold for a minute. And I want you to connect with your core and feel your breathing. So, so if you bring your chin down just a stretch, just a little bit there. Okay. Long, smooth breaths. And then let's come on up. And I want you to grab a foot and just massage it quickly. So you're going to stretch out your toes and massage the top of the foot with your fingers and the bottom of the foot with your thumbs. And do the other foot. Again, another thing we could spend all day on. All right, so from here, they feeling pretty good. We're going to come up onto our hands and knees. And if you'd like to have some padding under your knees, you're going to place your blanket underneath your knees. And then your wrists are slightly in front of your shoulders. Your knees are slightly behind your hips. You're going to connect with your torso. And then we're going to start to move. And what I want you to do is you're going to lean forward just a little bit so your shoulders come over your hands. That's your inhale. Exhale, you're going to come back towards child pose. Inhale, come forward just a little bit. Exhale, come back. And we're, you know, still in that warming up phase. So you're noticing your sensations. You're moving with your body. Now, if it feels good as you come forward, you're going to start to bring your hips down, soften your shoulders away from your ears, and exhale again towards child's pose. So moving slowly with your breath, getting all that information that you can from your body, from your breath. Next time you come up, we're going to step the right foot forward. And here we're going to do something a little bit differently, and I want you to be really careful. You're going to take that right foot and you're going to pivot it out. And you're going to make sure that back knee is behind your hip. And you're going to walk your hands to the right a little bit and start to reach that left hip towards the ground. So my toes on my left foot, Start to point forward. 
Is, is everybody get a little stretch there? And you're breathing, and, you're, and if it's too much on your hand, you could take your block and put it underneath your elbow. Right. But we're never going to force here. Don't listen to your body. You're going to take another breath or two. And when you're ready, you're going to come on up. You're going to turn that right foot forward. Make sure that back knee is still behind your hip so that you're opening up that hip flexor a little bit. And you're going to isometrically pull your foot and your knee towards one another. Bring those hands up onto your thigh. And again, getting information. Long, smooth breaths. Now, if it's comfortable, you might reach your arms up. Some of you might like to keep them down on your thighs. So you're just noticing. Like if you pull your arms up, it starts pulling your back to take those arms down. Now, on an exhale, we're going to bring the hands down to the ground or the blocks. You're going to straighten that front leg. Point your toes up towards the sky so your foot flexes. Don't let your butt drop onto your heels. Now, inhale is going to be body up. Exhale, body towards that leg. And it might be a teeny tiny movement. <laughs> You're just noticing what it is. All right. Now, from here, we're going to walk your hands up. Bend that knee. Bring that foot back. And then we're going to take the left foot forward. And again, get yourself set up so your knee is over your ankle, your back knee is behind the hip. We're going to turn your left toes to the left. Walk your hands a little bit over to the left as you reach that right hip towards the ground. And again, if it puts any a challenge on your wrist, come down onto a block. And you might find as we stay here, the hip comes a little bit closer to the floor. Maybe it doesn't, right? You're exploring, you're noticing, you're breathing. So again, another breath or two whenever you're ready. You're going to bring yourself up. Turn your left foot forward, isometrically pull in towards the center as you bring your hands up onto your thigh. Every movement, you're noticing what happens. And again, if it feels good, extending those arms up, continuing to breathe. Finding that place that works for you. Arms up feels good, hands on the thigh, continuing to breathe. On one of these exhales, we're going to bring the hands down to the ground, straighten that front leg, come up onto your heel, point the toes up towards the sky. So right away, you feel that stretch along the back of your leg. And then again, moving with your breath, inhale up, exhale, body down. So again, as you start to feel good about that, we're going to bend that front knee and bring your knees in. So now you're going to be kneeling with your body upright. Then I want you to turn your toes under, right? So you're stretching that foot a little bit differently. And we're going to inhale both arms up and exhale. The hands are going to come onto your back body or forehead towards the ground. And if you'd like, you could have a block there for your head to come down onto. Some of you, your forehead may come to the ground. You might like it in the air. And then you're moving with your breath. Let's do one more. And then what after your next inhale, going to bring ourselves all the way up to standing. Just going to move this back a little bit. All right. And then find a tennis ball. We're going to roll the foot a little bit. So just 
rolling your foot on that tennis ball. Use as much or as little pressure as you'd like. Try to get the whole foot. This helps us be grounded, helps with our balance. Connects with all the other parts of the body. Gives us tons of information. And second foot. So we'll set that tennis ball off to a safe place and you're going to come to the front of your mat, arms at your sides, feet about hip width apart. And what I want you to do, you're going to keep your hands on your hips at first or on your legs, wherever they come to. You're just going to come up onto your toes, inhale up, exhale down. You're exploring like how High up to those heels want to come. All right. Now we're going to do that same thing with our arms. So inhaling those arms up, coming up onto your toes, exhaling down. Continuing to move with your breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Now we're going to add on today. <laughs> something we haven't done in a while or ever. And what I want you to do, and, and have a wall close by if, if you prefer, you're going to inhale, you're gonna take one knee up, and exhale, bring it down, and alternate sides. And you might just wanna bring your arms to shoulder height, you're exploring. So it's kind of like marching, but you're staying in place, and you're getting information, your second side. You're going to have your feet about hip width apart. Let's inhale those arms up. Exhale. We're going to bring them onto the thighs and slide down into a forward bend. And then inhale halfway up and exhale deeply in towards your legs. The knees can be bent or straight. Just moving with your breath. Now this next time you come into your forward bend, let's step back with that left foot. You're up on those back toes and hands are on the ground or on some blocks. What I want you to do here, I want you to lift your toes up off the ground. So your foot stays on the ground, you're gonna lift your toes. Then you're gonna take those toes down start to bend and straighten that front leg. And when you bend, try to keep the knee over the ankle so you're taking your leg back, but you're not bringing it way over the foot. Now next time your knee is bent, let's step that back foot forward. Take the right foot back. And again, you're gonna get yourself up so that you're balanced, feet hip width apart, about a leg's distance apart. Hands on the floor of the blocks. You're going to lift your toes up. So the padded part underneath the toes stays on the ground, and you're just lifting those toes up. And we're going to take them down and start to bend and straighten that front leg. Now, again, next time that front knee is bent, you're going to step that back foot forward, bring your hands onto your thighs, inhale halfway up, and exhale in towards your legs. Again, just moving with your breath, noticing how your body feels. And next inhale, let's come all the way up. So this time, Again, we're going to move one foot to the other. We're going to bring those hands to our heart center, and your hands are touching, but you have a little space in between your palms, thumbs resting on your breastbone. You're going to take the weight into the left foot, lift that right leg up, 
And then with your breath, you're going to inhale in the standing position. Exhale, take that leg back. And we're not necessarily going towards full Virabhadrasana, right? You're just going to move up and down in a way that feels good. It's okay if your standing leg bends a little bit. We're staying on the same leg. And next time that right foot comes down, we're going to shift the weight to the right. Make sure you're still breathing. <laughs> And again, inhale up, exhale forward. And we're trying to keep the leg and the body as one unit, as in a line. So we're just pivoting through the hips. And you're breathing one more time. Beautiful. Now, this next one, you can use a strap or you can, if you can clasp your hands behind you and still move your arms, then you can do it that way as well. So again, we're gonna start standing up. The inhale is going to be taking your arms up, exhale down. It's just moving through the arms. Inhale up, exhale down. And you're trying not to let your body drop forward. Arms, getting more information. Now, next time your hands come to your low back, you're going to make sure your feet are hip width apart. Inhale, body up. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, take those arms away from your back body. Exhale, bring the hands down. Press down with your feet as you inhale, come up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, take from the lower back. Exhale, hands come to the low back, press down with your feet as you inhale and come up. So you want to really engage your core. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, arms away. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, come up. We're going to do it one more time. And this time when we exhale down, inhale, take the arms up. We're going to stay here, but we're going to keep breathing. And I want you to shift your arms carefully from side to side. Again, just getting more information. Coming back through the center, exhaling hands to the low back, pressing down with your feet as you inhale and come up. And make sure you're not too dizzy. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to take that strap in front, and I want you to tug on it. Do you have or do you not have straps? Oh, that was a good job. <laughs> okay, you're going to take that strap in front of you, shoulder distance apart, and you're going to pull. And I want you to notice where on your body you feel when you pull, right? Can you feel it someplace in your side bodies or your abdominals? And just like we did earlier, what I want you to do, you, this time you're going to have your weight in your left foot, lift up the right knee, straighten it, and bring it back. Your body might come forward. You're just moving on that one leg. You're pulling on the strap to engage that core and help with your balance. Next time your foot comes down, we're gonna pause take a nice big breath. <laughs> it looked like some of you were holding your breath. <laughs> and, and I want you to think about moving with your breath. So it's a little bit faster movement because we're going up and then back. But I want you to try to continue to pull on the strap. So let's see, inhale, lift up that knee, exhale, extend and bring it back. And not necessarily going for distance here, right? So again, next time that foot comes down to the floor, we're going to pause. You can let go of your strap for a moment. Is everybody okay still standing up? All right. What we're going to do, we're going to reach for the right ankle. And you could, like I have this wall here, you could use the 
you know, back of a chair or sofa, or you could have your arm in the air. And we're just going to move that knee front to back. And you're trying to keep the knee close to your standing leg, so it's not pulling the leg out to the side. And very carefully, we'll release that foot to the ground, taking your second foot, and again, knee front to back. And you're breathing, your other arm is used for balance. And again, we're going to release that foot down to the ground. But I want you to bring your feet about as wide as your mat. Feel your feet on the ground, the feet are parallel. And I just want you to rock from heel to toe. You're noticing how you use your feet, how your balance feels. Does it feel better on your heels or your toes or when your feet are flat? All right, now we're gonna do some bends. And when we bend, I want you to make sure that you bend your ankles, your knees, and your hips. So it's going to be inhale, arms to shoulder height, exhale, bend. Right? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. If it doesn't work with the arms, just have your hands on your thighs. And you're just noticing it's not a fast movement unless your breathing is fast. Next time you come up, relax those arms. And what we're gonna do, take them onto the outside of your thighs. Inhale, body up. Exhale, slide down. And next time you finish that second side, we're going to interlace the fingers, take the palms down. If this doesn't work for your arms, you're gonna press your palms towards one another. Going to bring those arms up overhead. Again, inhale, center, exhale, come over to the side. Try not to let your body drop forwards or backwards, trying to stay in a line. Always checking in with your body. Beautiful. Now, next time we come up, we're going to release those arms. Your feet are going to be hip width apart. We inhale, we're going to take those arms up, exhale, a little bend like chair and a twist. And then you're going to alternate arms. So we're not going for our deepest positions here. You're moving with your breath. Again, so much information as we're breathing and moving. Side. We're going to relax those arms, take them onto your thighs. Inhale, body up. Exhale, we're going to come down into a forward bend. And then I want you to bend your ankles and knees and come down into some sort of squat. You might have a, a little blanket under your heels. You might have your feet wide. You might have your toes turned out. And then hands to your forehead or your heart center. So the back is rounded here, right? You're just relaxing, releasing any tension on your back body and breathing. So letting go of any thoughts, just feeling your breath and how your body feels in this position. Very carefully, we're going to bring ourselves down to the ground and extend those legs into a wide angle. And if your back body is rounded as you're here or if you're dropping back, you're going to put a blanket under your sit bones. So I want you to be comfortable in your groin area. So there might be a little stretch, but not too intense. And the inhale is going to be body up. The exhale, you're just going to slide down your leg. Inhale up. 
Exhale, slide down. Getting information. Now, next time you finish your second side, if it feels good, you're going to take the outside arm up and exhale over. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. No rush, just moving with that breath. And next time you finish the second side, we're going to take those hands onto your hips or onto the floor. So I want you to move with your whole body. It's going to be inhale up, exhale, chest comes forward, not the head. So it, again, it might be one of those smaller movements and you're noticing what's happening in your pelvis, what's happening in the low back, in the core. When you come up, this next time we're going to bring those legs together. We're going to make our way down onto our back body. And what I want you to have close by, I want you to have your strap and a block so that you don't have to go fishing for them once we're on our backs. So I want you to think about how can you safely get onto your back body. And then you're going to bring yourself down to the ground. So you might roll to your side. Some of you might. If, if you have any back pain, I strongly suggest that you come down onto your side and roll over. And we're going to start with those knees bent and we're going to use the strap. And in this one, some of you know this one very well. Love, hate, relationship, maybe. So you're going to place the strap on the padded part of your right foot and your leg is going to stay perpendicular to the ground. So you're not pulling it towards your body. So straight up and down. And then your left knee is bent and you're going to take that left knee and open it out to the side. So you're coming on to the pinky toe side of the foot and you're going to pivot the right leg out. So I always think of a duck when I bring my feet out like this, right? And so you're noticing all those sensations in your legs. So your toes are turned to the right. The whole leg moves with it, but you're not dropping the leg down. So Rolf, bring your leg up. Kathy, bring your, it looks like your leg is pulling towards your body. Bring it towards the knee. All right, now, and you're breathing, we're holding each position so you get a nice little stretch. Now we're gonna come back to neutral, so bring the right foot back to center, your left knee back to center. Now we're gonna walk the left foot out, and you're gonna drop that left knee in towards the center. And your right leg is still pointing up towards the sky, but now you're gonna point your toes to the left. So you're pivoting your leg inwards. You're going to try to keep that foot flat. So if it starts to sickle, you're going to see if you can flatten it out. And you're still breathing, hopefully relaxed through your body and your shoulders and your head. And as we hold, like your breath is still moving and you're noticing what's happening in your body. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. We're going to come back to neutral with the right foot and the left knee. You're going to take both straps into the left hand. You're going to lift up that left foot and you're going to reach around your right leg and maybe grab onto that foot, bring that knee down towards the ground. And if you can't hold on to your foot here, it's okay to let it go. And then ever so slowly, you're going to take that leg across the body towards the floor, but you're not going to let it drop to the floor. Right? You're in control. You decide how far it goes. You're controlling it and you're breathing. And again, your head and shoulders are still relaxed. And it would be okay if you're only over, you know, three or four inches. You're working with your body and how it works for you. 
And then you're going to make your torso long. Press your right buttock away from your body so that there's lots of space in your torso. If you can get to, you know, Stiram Sukham a little, you know, like alert, stable, and somewhat comfortable and relaxed. And then we're going to release the foot, slowly bring your right leg up and your left knee towards the sky. We're going to take the strap off and relax your feet on the ground. You're going to notice how you feel. In your pelvis, you might move your knees from side to side. You're breathing. And we're going to take the strap one more time. Hopefully you notice a little difference between left and right. We're gonna take the strap now on your other foot. So you always wanna make sure we do both sides so that we're balanced. So now right knee pointing up, strap on the padded part of the left foot. You're going to open that right knee out to the side, onto the pinky toes. And then keeping your leg perpendicular, you're going to pivot it out. This is the one like the duck. So your toes are turning to the left. And it could feel very differently side to side. Again, we're going to come back to neutral with the left leg and right knee. You step your right foot out to the side a little bit, drop that knee down in towards the center. So now your right knee comes in towards the center and you're going to keep your left leg perpendicular to the ground and start to turn your left leg and toes to the right. And you might find that there are some muscles your leg and pelvis that you're not used to stretching. Just make sure there's no pain. And again, staying relaxed through your body, long, smooth breaths. Again, we're going to make our way back to neutral. We're going to take both straps into the right hand. Lift up that left foot, from no, right foot. Reach your left hand around and grab onto that right foot, possibly bring the right knee down to the ground and then slowly lower. You are in control of that leg and you're breathing. And if, if it hurts your knee or anything, let go of that foot with your hand, okay? Just let that foot relax on the ground in a way that's comfortable for your body. And again, make that torso long. Press your left hip away from your body. Keep breathing. When you're ready, carefully letting go of that foot, lifting your leg up, coming back to a neutral position with your knees bent, you can put your strap down at the side. And then once you're in that neutral position with your knees bent, we're going to tilt through the pelvis, inhale, tilt your pubic bone up, exhale, tilt it down. We're not taking the pelvis, the pelvis off the floor, you're just tilting front to back. Inhale up, exhale down. Then from here, we're going to roll onto our sides and make our way onto our belly. So 
We're going to have the hands in line with the chest. And your face is pointing towards the floor. And the movement is going to be inhale, bend your knees, feet are flexed, hands come off the ground, shoulders come up. So inhale, it's here. Exhale, head, hands, feet come back to the floor. Inhale up. making sure that all of your body is in agreement. If you feel like you need more of a challenge, you can keep your legs straight and lift your feet up when you come up. But if that puts any strain on your back body, I want you to bend your knees. Inhale is up. Exhale is down. One more time. Now, once you relax on the floor, we're going to stretch that left arm out. You're going to bend your right knee and reach towards that ankle. You can use a strap here. So at first, you're just bringing that heel towards your buttock, relaxing through the upper body. And when you feel, if you feel ready, you're going to bend your left arm and lift your body up and start to press your right ankle into that hand. You could also, you know, just press the ankle into the hand without coming up onto your forearm, right? You're finding a place that feels good. Let's gently release, <clears throat> stretch out your right arm on the ground. <clears throat> then we're going to bend through the left knee, possibly reach back. And if your hand doesn't come to your ankle, you can bend the knee or you can use a strap around your ankle. When you're breathing and relaxing and noticing how it feels, the front of the thigh, make sure there's no pain in ankles or knees. <clears throat> and again, when and if you feel ready, you'll bring in your right arm and start to press your left ankle into your hand. Still breathing those long, smooth breaths. Very carefully, we're going to release that foot and we're going to press back into child's pose. <clears throat> and if you don't want to be on your knees, the other option would be to be on your back body and have your knees in towards your chest. <clears throat> so you're finding that place that works for your body. So when you're ready, you're going to carefully make your way onto your back body, unless you're already there. And then let's walk the feet out, maybe as wide as your mat or a little bit wider, whatever feels good. And one at a time, you're going to bring your knee in towards the center. So you inhale when your knees are pointing up. Exhale, bring one knee in, the other knee stays pointing towards the sky. So we're not like windshield wiper moving both knees at the same time. So one knee stays pointing, the other knee moves in towards the center. Now next time you finish the second side, we're going to walk our feet so they're about hip width Part again. And we're going to hold on to the left knee and you're going to slowly drag your heel on the ground with your right leg. 
So you're just gonna slide, you're holding on to the left knee and you're sliding like we did at the beginning, but now we're laying down, sliding that heel away from your body and pulling it back in. Then you're going to turn your right foot at an angle and slide your leg out at an angle. And if that doesn't work for your body, you'll keep sliding straight on. Next time your heel comes in, let's grab that both knees from side to side or in a circular motion. And then we're gonna hold on to the right knee. Take your left heel down. And you're gonna slide through the left heel. Just going straight out from the body, moving with your breath. Next time that heel comes in, you're gonna turn it out at an angle and slide the foot away from the body. At an angle, keeping the heel and it's really important here that we keep that heel connected to the floor. You may have to move your mat out of the way as we do things like this. And next time that heel comes in, again, we're going to have both knees in towards the body. Nice, gentle. Roll through the knees. And then carefully taking your feet to the ground one at a time. Now, <clears throat> I'd like you to find your bolster, or if you don't have a bolster at home, you can use a folded blanket, a pillow. I'm going to grab a bolster. Does anybody need one? <laughs> You're gonna put that bolster vertically on your mat. And then you're gonna sit on the end. So if you're using a pillow or a blanket, you're gonna sit on the end. And then very carefully, you're gonna bring your body so your butt stays on the bolster. And then you're gonna work your shoulders towards the floor. So my whole back and hips are supported by the bolster and my shoulders are making their way towards the floor so I can open up the chest. Does that make sense? We're gonna stay here for a minute or two, so I want you to make sure that you're comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you're gonna find a position that works for you. And if you're at home, you could have a folded blanket or two or a pillow doing the same effect. Now, while you're here, some of you may want to extend those arms up overhead or out to the sides or keep them down at your side body. You're going to find a way that feels comfortable in your body. I want you to imagine that you can feel your breath on the front of your body as you're breathing here, softening your body, totally giving in to gravity. You're not propping yourself up at all. And then in your own time, you're going to check in with your body. Does your body need anything else? And then you are going to get yourself set up for Shavasana. So does your body need more? If so, where? What are you going to do about it? And if you're ready, you're going to set yourself up in Shavasana. And remember in Shavasana, the point of Shavasana is to be as comfortable and as relaxed as possible so that you can synthesize all that we did in your mind, your body, your 
grab. So you're going to lay down. I'm going to sit up and watch you. <laughs> so do anything else your body needs and then get yourself comfortable on the ground. As you settle in, letting go of thinking mind, letting go of holding any part of your body, letting yourself sink in to the floor and any props that you're on. As your awareness starts to come back to the breath and the body, I know some of your mind 
hands and bodies. Do you want to stay on the ground a little bit longer? You're going to check in and in your own time start to make those thoughtful movements. Maybe remembering how you felt at the beginning of class. And eventually coming up to a seated position. And whenever that is for you, you know, get yourself comfortable. It doesn't have to be cross legged, however, you're sitting. Start to make those gentle circles, how we started the very beginning of class today. Gentle circles with your body, checking out how's that low back feel, the hips. Coming to a place where you pause and then go in the other direction. We're going to come to a place where we stop. And we're going to do a prama breath, so we're going to breathe in short steps, okay? So the way that it's going to, you're going to breathe in a little, pause, breathe in a little bit more, pause, breathe in a little bit more, pause, and then exhale. But you're going to do it at your, I'll, I'll say it, but you're going to do it at your own pace. So breathe in, pause, breathe in, pause, breathe in a little bit more, pause whenever you're done with that inhale. Exhale completely. There's no rush in the exhale. Breathe in a little bit. Pause. Breathe in a little bit more. Pause. Breathe in a little bit more. As much as you want to fill in, take a full breath. Pause at the top. And exhale. We're going to do that two more times. You're going to do it in your own way that works for your breath. Inhale. Pause. Inhale more, pause, inhale completely, pause, and then exhale. One more time on your own. Just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up doing the practice, and I'd like to thank all my teachers, past, past and present, as well as you know, acknowledge the lands that I live and practice upon. So, do you want to join me in a little sound? We'll do our three healing sounds. So inhaling those arms up towards the sky, we'll exhale the sound Q to the heart. Q. Namaste. Namaste.